this is another just quick um, overview. We don't need to get into like you know the great details of the of the Veladon package structure here. Um, but they, they pretty much use the same general package structure in all three of their LIDARs that we that we work with. Um, there's some slight differences given the number of laser counts that are on their different uh, LIDARs. But you know, you can go to page 12 in the VLP16 user manual and sort of get a um, a closer you know look at at how this works for the different channels of data and um, how they divide up their packets. But I think the important thing to know, and one of the higher level things that is important, is um, that each of the packets is 1,248 bytes long, um, and we use that and break up that data accordingly into um, our structures, our data structures. Um, and you can see that in our code as well. Um, and same thing for the quantum GM8, we, we do the same thing. Yeah. So. And this is just the sample, this is just a screenshot of the sample code um, of our test implementation and, you know, creating a, a laser decoder object, setting the range in meters from 0 to 15, and, you know, our sample file was captured in this conference room, so 15 meters um, is pretty much, probably a little even more than the maximum size of this room. Um, yeah, we were getting some, some data, actually, from, like, across the street here from that... Um from that building over there because it was going through the window, but it was kind of hard to see in the visualization, so um, we clipped it down to, to 15. Got it. Yeah, so um, pretty much what's what's important for users to know that want to run the sample is that the first argument to the, the binary is going to be the input file. Oh, they can't read the, uh, the text from the slide. That might have been the previous one, possibly. And if, and if not, I guess, you know, just um, extrapolating on it, the first argument to the to the input of the binary to run the, the test capture is just the the pcap input file absolute path, yeah. and then the second argument is the absolute path of the output text file that, that you want to create.